Hey guys, what's going on? Happy New Year. Hope everyone has had a fantastic holiday break and uh, getting stuck into the new year. Well, actually, I kind of hope you're on holidays because I'm not and it sucks. I'd rather be on, I'd rather still be on holidays, but that's okay. I didn't have any holidays, but I'd rather be on holidays. Uh, it's been a few weeks. I've had a bit of a self, a little bit of a, I didn't choose to have the break, but it's kind of happened. It's been sort of three or four weeks since my last video. Um, just the lead up to Christmas was absolutely busy. Um, and then we had a bit of a tragedy in the family where my um, mother-in-law-to-be, my fiance's mother, um, passed away on the 21st of December. So uh, four days before Christmas. Um, she had a, she fought a two year battle with uh, cancer. Um, Unfortunately, uh, they picked it up too late, so she was sort of she was terminal from the get-go, and uh, you know to make it two years, she um, she fought incredibly hard. Um, and it's it's broken her hearts. Um, so we we're, we're, we're getting through it um, day by day. It's it's it sucks. Um, you know, it's you know, she was going to be you know she was. I think she was only 64 years old, perhaps 65. Um, we we bumped Christmas forward a few days. Um, and me and my fiance went and had had lunch, had a Christmas lunch a few days early, um, which would have been the Wednesday on the 20th. So we had a nice family lunch. It was lovely. Um, she wasn't looking too flash, and then uh, we got we got the phone call the next morning saying she'd uh, she'd passed away early in the morning. Um, not long after she'd uh, woken up for the day, um, so yeah, we were we were pretty gutted. Like I said, we're getting through it day by day, um, but yeah, it's, it's it kind of sucks. But yeah, um, I wanted to get back into this because um, this this is a positive thing. Getting back into routine. I know my my fiance is having sort of she doesn't want to be at work all the time and she doesn't want to talk to people, which is absolutely fair enough, and I cannot blame her at all. But um. You know, you gotta. We're, we're trying our hardest just to get back to normal. Um, just think normally, act normally. You go to work as normal, and just try and live our lives day to day as we normally would. Um, so yeah, this is part of that. So um, yeah, on a positive note, I, I hope everyone had a great break. Um, like I said at the top of the video, um, hope you're all doing really, really well. Um, and yeah, hope here's to a happy 2018. So here's cheers, guys. Ting. All right, I just want to run through, run through a few things. It's been, I haven't made a video since The Last Jedi came out, which I've now seen six times already. <laughs> I freaking love this movie. Um, I know it's divided fandom straight down the middle. Um, you know, I, I get why, I get why. Um, yeah, it's, it's the, the putting down of people who don't have the same opinion is what's getting me down about it. But yeah, I completely understand. Not everyone has the same opinions. That's fantastic. Um, it's good. When it promotes conversation, it's fantastic. Um, I think it's a lot of fun to discuss it in a way that doesn't sort of get angry and, you know, everyone gets shit at each other. So it's it's good. I'm, I can't wait to go see it again, to be honest. Um, so I wanted to see just a little bit of a little bit of a holiday haul, um, I guess, over the last month or so, some Christmas gifts, um, just some purchases that I've made myself, um, and just, yeah, gifts from other people, and, yeah, I'm um, just sort of looking around, um, just, I've got, I've got a bunch of stuff around me that I'm going to share, but I'm just seeing if I've got anything else that I've missed. I've got a few books, like, a, I got the Ultimate Lego Star Wars book, which is, comes in the big slipcase, that was awesome. Um, yeah, just magazines and a couple of itty bitties and a couple more of those um, little mystery mini pop head vinyl bubble head things. So it's been cool, but probably most of my things are here. So um, I'll start with some Lego. I did pick up a few small, couple of smaller Lego sets from the new new lot. I'm hoping to go back and finish this and get the one last Jedi sets that I've missed because um, that first batch were all big sets. Um, and they're only starting to come down to a reasonable price now, so I'm, I'm probably going to go and put them on lay-by and pick them up at a later date. Um, so I got this one. This was cool. I like the execution of Troopers. Um, I was very excited about this set, and I can't wait to do a little review on this one. Finally got the uh, 
old Luke minifig, which is awesome, and the Resistance Ray outfit, which um, is still probably my, one of my favourite of Ray's outfits out of well, three now, <laughs> I guess. Um, so this is a great set. I, I want to, I kind of want this part of me that wants to go full on and expand and make a little island with a few of these little huts, but uh, it's all money, isn't it? Uh, for Christmas, so this is one item. I'll get this one out of the way. My um, girlfriend, my fiance, got me the Star Wars vinyl box set. This is pretty heavy. Um, and we got it. She ordered it through Think Geek, so it got shipped over from the states. Unfortunately, I had a little bit of like a. I don't know if you can see it. There's a bit of a crease down the front there. Um, there's some scuff damage on the top corner there. And the booklet for Empire Strikes Back was already ripped, like as before I'd even taken it out of the um before I'd even taken it out of the centerfold. So she emailed them and they're sending out another one, so that's that's amazing. I don't have to send this one back. Um so I don't know, I might I might try and recoup some of that money for her, um, and sell it on Gumtree locally. Um but yeah, I was really excited. I haven't given them a listen yet, but I will. Uh, figures. Oh, the other thing she got me. She gave me a couple other things, but this is one thing she got me. She got me a plush Porg. <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. Uh, this is the Disney one. So that was pretty exciting. I, I have wanted a little Porg for a while. So she got me one. She's the best. And it's been a while since I got some new three and three quarter inch figures, but I have recently, and that's been awesome. Um, I'm pretty much up to date with six inch black series. I'm expecting DJ Captain Rex and the Resistance outfit Ray, hopefully next week. Um, they should be in the post by then. Um, but I did pick up some new figures. I got the second wave. So got the new resistance ray. This is the one that comes with like the poncho hood. Um, I didn't like the look of that, so she looks better with this outfit. A bit better than the other one we had too. Um, so that's a nice ray figure. Got Leia. Another really nice figure. The likenesses on the three and three quarter inch figures, like the paint details and stuff, are just incredible now. Like they've done, despite the fact that they're still five POA. They look really nice. Um, so I hope we see that, that amount of detail going into the vintage collection later this year. Uh, Luke Skywalker in his Jedi Exile outfit. Sort of rain poncho, he's got his lightning rod. <laughs> the hood does come off, looks good. It's a great figure, really nice, really good detail on that one. Now, just got them all in a little tub here. And DJ. I actually really liked his character. I hope we get to see him again in episode 9. So I hope he comes back and redeems himself, I guess, for, for what he did to Finn and Rose. But somehow I don't think he will. I, ho I hope we see him, but I don't think he's... Um, he is what it is. We may not see him again. And I got the new RTD2, which, you know, is actually one of the nicer RTD2s out there. Probably didn't need one. Came with the uh, attachable rockets on the side of his thing. So I, I sort of was under the assumption we might see them in the movie, but that wasn't the case. I kind of just wish we saw more R2D2. <laughs> So that's cool. I love a good R2-D2 figure. And uh, good old eBay seller Tung Hori had Snoke up, so I got Snoke in the three and three quarter inch line. Um, this is the one that's currently only exclusive to the big BB-8 playset, which here is around about $300 plus, so I'm not gonna spend that money for, for Snoke. So I got this one for about 20 bucks. Which is cool. Um, also caught up with the three and three quarter inch uh, three and three quarter inch black series line. So I got I got Rose. Didn't pick her up at first. Um, decided to later. I'm glad I did. Actually, really liked her character as well. Got the uh, 
Victorian Guard. So I can see why people are buying multiples. I've got the last one of the sh on the shelf of uh, the store I checked. I haven't seen one since. So I will get a couple more of this guy if I see them. And do the head swaps with the less articulated ones. Luke. Which also looks pretty good. And the Executioner Trooper. And my other half, she got me a couple of Disney sets um, that are exclusive to the Disney parks. Um, so she got me a two pack of droids from The Last Jedi. I can't remember seeing them, but they're in the visual guide, so they must have been there somewhere. I can't remember the names off the top of my head, but they're cool. I always love a couple of extra Astros. And she got me the four pack of BB Unit um, droid set. So she got BB 8. Uh, BB-9E Which is cool and these two little uh, resistance BB units one of them's two BB-2 and I can't remember the other one But uh, cool. So that's it for action figures um, Books 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 are awesome. I've got the art of the last Jedi definitely recommended uh, the bookstore put it in a plastic slip case this time, which I absolutely appreciate 100% because the, the other one gets curling and stuff, so you can try and replicate that with some others. So that's a good book. So you've got the Visual Dictionary, which is a must-have. And the Incredible Cross-Sections book. The vehicles. This is an awesome book too. Um, got these all on book depository, but they are around stores everywhere. So, and last but not least, my um, my father-in-law to be, I'm not married yet. Get married on May the fourth. Um, got me a couple of little Lego microfighter sets. So I'm just keeping them aside for the rainy day. A little tie striker and Krennic shuttle. So that's cool. I've just tucked them aside until. You know, I get bored and my Lego craving just goes wild <laughs> um, one day. And then, probably last but not least, I've got a little card today in the mail from Rancho Obi-Wan. This is really exciting. Cool piece of art from Mark Ratz. You can check his website on the back. So that was really nice. I can't wait to go back to Rancho Obi-Wan. Hopefully later this year we'll, we're going to... Planning on going back over to California um, in October, November, hopefully. Um, that's probably going to be a planned honeymoon. Um, drive around California for a couple of weeks and do Disneyland and uh, hopefully go up the north, north co up the coast, up, up north, um, and just do a nice, nice road trip through California and back up and back down. So that'd be cool. Um, yeah, I think that's about it, guys. Um, thanks for hanging around. I appreciate it. I've got a few subscribers during my break, so thank you for jumping on board. It's very exciting. Um, and yeah, here's to a very happy 2018. Um, we've got Han Solo movie coming out in just a few months. Um, yeah, it's only only four or five months away, which is crazy to think we just got a movie out. Um, so we're going to have plenty to talk about and plenty to geek out over, so... Yeah, join me for the ride. It's going to be fun. So, yeah. Again, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you've all been awesome. Stay awesome, and may the force be with you. Until my next video, see you later.